day started exactly how you would expect. Joey showed up 35 minutes late. Uh, loading the car up is running like shit. Uh, we're not sure what it is. We stopped to check for a broken rocker arm because it's popping on the, on the driver's side. No broken rocker arm, so we'll try to figure it out when we get there. So we're running late. We got Joey and Corey and Brandy here. Uh, we're going to Grays Harbor Raceway in Elma, Washington. I've never raced. I've never raced here. I've driven five laps on this track, so it might be interesting. Plus, there's some weather that is, has the potential of ending the night, but hopefully not. That's really all I got to say. Do you guys have anything to say? No, I think it's done well. Racing! Woo! <laughs> Yay! That's all I have to say. All right. So hopefully we get to do some of that for no money. There's that, so there's no there's no money involved. So I don't know how many times we're gonna be able to afford to do this, or how many times I'm gonna to want to afford to do this. But uh, actually, next weekend is St. Helens, and they have a, I believe it's guaranteed at least half pay. So oh, sick. half pay would be 250 to win, which is better than zero to win, and it's much closer to home.
cut now. Uh -oh. Okay, race recap. The uh, heat, we started outside fourth row. We started eighth. I don't know how much of it was luck. It seemed like a lot of them guys kind of just moved out of my way, but we got up to third, clean, didn't touch anybody. That was fun, but the car was cutting out in the middle of the corner. Uh, the car was a little tight. I still have my dry slick bank set up on it, uh, but the car was a little tight. And then when I pulled off, so it was sputtering in the middle of the corner, carburetor or ignition, something. I, I think it's carbureted, but, uh, and then sitting in tech, it went, it, climbed up to 240 degrees so we the whole the whole time in between the heat and the main we were messing around trying to we, we, what, what we change we changed the radiator cap we changed the water because it's a little rusty because Corey's lazy <laughs> never never swaps it out for me uh, so we changed the water and changed the cap and then I was headed to the restroom and I heard over this the speaker they were calling for main main uh, modified main to line up so we didn't get a chance to free the car up uh, we didn't really do much that I wanted to do. So I went out and with the invert, I started on the pole and uh, took the green, went into one and two and it, it missed, but it wasn't bad. And then I got into three and four and it just wouldn't run. As soon as I, as soon as I get in the throttle in the middle of the corner, it just fall on its face. Uh, so then since it wouldn't run, I couldn't get the car to rotate over. So then I just pushed one. I was already too tight, but then not being able to use any horsepower I just pushed that so I started falling back I just moved up to the top tried to stay a little bit out of the groove and out of the bumps and not get ran over and I ended up pushing up into the wall coming out of two I didn't want to let off and get ran over by 20 other cars so I tried to stay in the throttle and just I hit the wall and then uh, pulled off and we loaded the car up and I don't know who realized it Corey or Joey Joey realized that the the right front upper was snapped. It was, I mean, I don't know how it didn't break completely off. It's hanging on, on by a thread. So not the best start, but with the heat race, that was good. I'll take that. I've never raced there before, so it was, it was fun-ish. Uh, yeah. Next weekend, we'll most likely be at River City Speedway. I have a lot more laps there, so hopefully we can have a little bit of a better night. I'll probably tear the carburetor apart, clean, try to clean it up, adjust the float levels, and, and uh, go from there. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching and see you next week. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.